Eileen Donnan is a small tidal island where three sea locks meet, Loch Dooch, Loch Long, and Loch Alsh, in the Western Highlands of Scotland. A picturesque castle that frequently appears in photographs, film and television dominates the island, which lies about one kilometer from the village of Dorney. Since the castle's restoration in the early 20th century, a footbridge has connected the island to the mainland. Eileen Donnan is part of the Kintail National Scenic Area, one of 14 Scotland. In 2001, the island had a recorded population of just one person, but there were no usual residents at the time of the 2011 census. Eileen Donnan, which means simply Island of Donnan, is named after Donnan of Egg, a Celtic saint martyred in 617. Donnan is said to have established a church on the island, though no trace of this remains. The castle was founded in the 13th century, and became a stronghold of the clan Mackenzie and their allies the clan Macrae. In the early 18th century, the Mackenzie's involvement in the Jacobite rebellions led in 1719 to the castle's destruction by government ships. Lieutenant Colonel John Macrae Gilstrap's 20th century reconstruction of the ruins produced the present buildings. Eileen Donnan Castle went through several phases of development from the earliest fortifications of the 13th century through to its destruction in 1719, and the subsequent reconstruction in the 20th century. The first phase comprised a curtain wall enclosing much of the island with a tower house added in the 14th century. In the 14th or 15th century the outer wall was abandoned and a smaller enclosure built around the tower house. More development within this courtyard took place in the 16th century, as well as the addition of defenses on the eastern side. The castle was almost totally destroyed in 1719, after which almost 200 years passed before reconstruction began. Kilkenny Castle is a castle in Kilkenny, Ireland built in 1195 to control a falling point of the River Norrie, and the junction of several routeways. It was a symbol of Norman occupation and in its original 13th century condition it would have formed an important element of the defenses of the town with four large circular corner towers and a massive ditch, part of which can still be seen today on the parade. The property was transferred to the people of Kilkenny in 1967, and the castle and grounds are now managed by the Office of Public Works. The gardens and parkland adjoining the castle are open to the public. The Parade Tower is a conference venue. Awards and conferring ceremonies of the graduates of the Kilkenny campus of National University of Ireland, Maynooth have been held there since 2002. The Alhambra is a palace and fortress complex located in Granada, Andalusia, Spain. It was originally constructed as a small fortress in 889 CE on the remains of Roman fortifications, and then largely ignored until its ruins were renovated and rebuilt in the mid-13th century by the Arab Nasrid Emir Mohammed ben al-Amar of the Emirate of Granada, who built its current palace and walls with many beautiful, intricate details. It was converted into a royal palace in 1333 by Yusuf I, Sultan of Granada. After the conclusion of the Christian Reconquista in 1492, the site became the royal court of Ferdinand and Isabella, and the palaces were partially altered in the Renaissance style. Alhambra's last flowering of Islamic palaces was built for the final Muslim emirs in Spain during the decline of the Nasrid dynasty, who were increasingly subject to the Christian kings of Castile. The Alhambra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Alhambra resembles many medieval Christian strongholds in its threefold arrangement as a castle, a palace and a residential annex for subordinates. The Alcazaba or Citadel, its oldest part, is built on the isolated and precipitous foreland which terminates the plateau on the northwest. All that remains are its massive outer walls, towers and ramparts. Vionden Castle located in Vionden in the north of Luxembourg, is one of the largest fortified castles west of the Rhine. With origins dating from the 10th century, the castle was built in the Romanesque style from the 11th to 14th centuries. Gothic transformations and trimmings were added at the end of this period. 
A Renaissance mansion was added in the 17th century but thereafter the castle was allowed to fall into ruins. It has, however, recently been fully restored, and is open to visitors. Set on a rocky promontory, the castle stands at a height of 310 meters, dominating the town of Vionden and overlooking the river are about 100 meters below. The castle was built on the site of an ancient Roman castellum. The basement appears to have been a Carolingian refuge. Historically, the first Count of Vionden was mentioned in 1090. The castle continued to be the seat of the Vionden's influential counts until the beginning of the 15th century. The castle is open to visitors throughout the year from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day. In March and October, the closing time is extended to 5 p.m. and in the summer months to 6 p.m. Guided tours are also available. The Castle of the Teutonic Order in Malbec is a 13th century Teutonic castle and fortress located near the town of Malbec, Poland. It is the largest castle in the world measured by land area, and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was originally constructed by the Teutonic Knights, a German Catholic religious order of crusaders, in a form of an Ordensburg fortress. The order named it Marienburg in honor of Mary, Mother of Jesus. In 1457, during the Thirteen Years' War, it was sold by the Bohemian mercenaries to King Casimir IV of Poland in lieu of indemnities and it since serve as one of the several Polish royal residences and the seat of Polish offices and institutions, interrupted by several years of Swedish occupation, and fulfilling this function until the first partition of Poland in 1772. From then on the castle was under German rule for over 170 years until 1945. The castle is a classic example of a medieval fortress and, on its completion in 1406, was the world's largest brick castle. UNESCO designated the Castle of the Teutonic Order in Malbec and the Malbec Castle Museum a World Heritage Site in December 1997. It is one of two World Heritage Sites in the region, together with the medieval town of Torun, which was founded in 1231. Malbec Castle is also one of Poland's official National Historic Monuments, as designated on 16 September 1994. Its listing is maintained by the National Heritage Board of Poland. With the rise of Adolf Hitler to power in the early 1930, the Nazis used the castle as a destination for annual pilgrimages of both the Hitler Youth and the League of German Girls. The Teutonic Castle at Marienburg served as a blueprint for the Order Castles of the Third Reich built under Hitler's reign. In 1945 during World War II combat in the area, more than half the castle was destroyed. At the conclusion of the war, the city of Malbec and the castle became again part of Poland. The castle has been mostly reconstructed, with restoration ongoing since 1962 following a fire in 1959 which caused further damage. A significant recent restorative effort was of the main church in the castle. After being restored just before World War II and then destroyed in battle, it was in a state of disrepair until a new restoration was completed in April 2016. Trakai Island Castle is an island castle located in Trakai, Lithuania, on an island in Lake Galve. The construction of the stone castle was begun in the 14th century by Kestutis, and around 1409 major works were completed by his son Vitotus the Great, who died in this castle in 1430. Trakai was one of the main centers of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, and the castle held great strategic importance. The castle was rebuilt in the 1950-1960 by Lithuanian initiative. The Trakai History Museum was established after the reconstruction. Trakai Island Castle was built in several phases. During the first phase, in the second half of the 14th century, the castle was constructed on the largest of three lake islands by the order of Grand Duke Kestutis. The construction of Trakai Island Castle was related to the expansion and strengthening of the Trakai Peninsula Castle. Kestutis moved his main residence and his treasury to the island castle. 
During the second phase, two wings were added, and on the southern side a six-story keep was built. The keep had movable gates which separated the palace from the castle. The keep was used for several functions, besides serving as another defensive structure, it had a chapel and living quarters. It was linked to the multi-story ducal palace, which had an inner yard. The inner yard had wooden galleries, which ran around the inner wall, these galleries were used to access various support facilities without going inside the palace itself. The expansion of the castle in the early 15th century marked the third phase of Trakai's development. The walls of the castle were strengthened to a thickness of 2.5 meters and raised with additional firing galleries. Three major defensive towers were constructed on the corners. Bojnica Castle is a medieval castle in Bojnica, Slovakia. It is a Romanesque castle with some original Gothic and Renaissance elements built in the 12th century. Bojnica Castle is one of the most visited castles in Slovakia, receiving hundreds of thousands of visitors every year and also being a popular filming stage for fantasy and fairy tale movies. Bojnica Castle was first mentioned in written records in 1113, in a document held at the Zoba Abbey. Originally built as a wooden fort, it was gradually replaced by stone, with the outer walls being shaped according to the uneven rocky terrain. Its first owner was Matthew Threkzak, who received it in 1302 from the King Ladislaus V of Hungary. Later, in the 15th century, it was owned by King Matthias Corvinus, who gave it to his illegitimate son John Corvinus in 1489. Matthias liked to visit Bojnica, and it was here that he worked on his royal decrees. He used to dictate them under a linden tree, which is now known as the linden tree of King Matthias. After his death the castle became the property of the Zapolia family. The Thurzos, the richest family in the northern kingdom of Hungary, acquired the castle in 1528, and undertook its major reconstruction. The former fortress was turned into a Renaissance castle. From 1646 on, the castle's owners were the Parthies, who continued to rebuild the castle. Bojnica Museum is now part of the Slovak National Museum today. The castle is renowned for its attractions, including the popular castle fairy tale, the International Festival of Ghosts and Spirits and the Summer Music Festival. The romantic castle is also a popular location for filming fairy tale movies, such as Fantag Hero. In 2006, the castle attracted about 200,000 visitors. It hosts the single most popular museum in Slovakia, and has featured in many movies. Bojnica Castle is surrounded by the Castle Park, featuring numerous species of trees. The park also contains the Bojnica Zoo, the oldest and one of the most visited zoos in Slovakia. The Castle Park continues in the form of a forest park in the Straja Mountains. Hohenwerfen Castle is a medieval rock castle, situated on a 623-meter precipice overlooking the Austrian market town of Werfen in the Salzach Valley, approximately 40 kilometers south of Salzburg. The fortress is surrounded by the Berchtesgaden Alps and the adjacent Tenen Mountains. Hohenwerfen is a sister of Hohen Salzburg Fortress, both built by the Archbishops of Salzburg in the 11th century. Currently, the bastion functions as a museum. Among the numerous attractions offered by the fortress are guided tours, showing its extensive weapons collection, the historical Salzburg falconry with the falconry museum as well as a fortress tavern. The historic falconry center is a special attraction, offering daily flight demonstrations using various birds of prey, including eagles, falcons, hawks, and vultures. Corvin Castle, also known as Hunyadi Castle or Hunedoara Castle, is a Gothic Renaissance castle in Hunedoara, Romania. It is one of the largest castles in Europe and figures in lists of the Seven Wonders of Romania. As one of the most important properties of John Hunyadi, the castle was transformed during his reign. It became a sumptuous home, not only a strategically enforced point. With the passing of the years, 
the masters of the castle had modified its look, adding towers, halls and guest rooms. The gallery and the keep, the last defense tower, which remained unchanged from John Hunyadi's time, and the Capistrano Tower are some of the most significant parts of the construction. Other significant parts of the building are the Knights Hall, the Club Tower, the White Bastion, which served as a food storage room, and the Diet Hall, on whose walls medallions are painted. Halubaka is a historic chateau situated in Halubaka nad Voltavo. It is considered one of the most beautiful castles in the Czech Republic. Halubaka is one of the most famous and most frequently visited castles in the Czech Republic. In the second half of the 13th century, a Gothic castle was built at the site. During its history, the castle was rebuilt several times. It was first expanded during the Renaissance period, then rebuilt into a Baroque castle at the order of Adam Franz von Schwarzenberg in the beginning of the 18th century. It reached its current appearance during the 19th century, when Johann Adolf II von Schwarzenberg ordered the reconstruction of the castle in the romantic style of England's Windsor Castle. The Schwarzenbergs obtained the castle in 1661 when Johann Adolf, Prince of Schwarzenberg bought it from the heirs of Baltasar Maradas. They lived in Halubaka until the end of 1939, when the last owner emigrated overseas. Halubaka Castle, is a national cultural monument of the Czech Republic. Dorworth Castle is a medieval castle situated on the River Rhine near the city of Arnhem, Netherlands. During the 14th century the castle was continually enlarged. Dorworth Castle, was originally the property of the Van Dorenverd family. In 1402 Robert Van Dorenverd dedicated the castle to the Count of Gel, Reynald IV. In return Robert was granted the castle and its land in fief. Around the middle of the 15th century the castle was enlarged again, this time by knight Reynald van Homoet, the 10th Lord of Dorenverd, who was also the owner of Dornenberg Castle. By 1560 Dorworth Castle had almost reached its present appearance. Around 1637 the bailey was rebuilt to its present appearance and a dike was built around the castle to protect it from flooding of the River Rhine. The Chateau du Haute Königsberg is a medieval castle located in the commune of Orschwiller in the Bas Rhin département of Alsace, France. Located in the Vosges Mountains just west of Celestar, situated in a strategic area on a rocky spur overlooking the Upper Rhine Plain, it was used by successive powers from the Middle Ages until the Thirty Years' War when it was abandoned. From 1900 to 1908 it was rebuilt at the behest of the German Kaiser Wilhelm II. Today, it is a major tourist site, attracting more than 500,000 visitors a year. Fenis Castle is an Italian medieval castle located in the town of Fenis. It is one of the most famous castles in Auster Valley, and for its architecture and its many towers and battlemented walls has become one of the major tourist attractions of the region. The castle belonged to the Lords of Chalant until 1716, when Georges Francois of Chalant had to sell it to Count Baldassare Castella of Saluzzo Pisana in order to pay his debts, and for the castle was the beginning of a period of decline. It was turned into a rural dwelling and became a stable and a barn. In 1895 architect Alfredo Dandradi purchased it and started a restoration campaign to secure the damaged structures. In 1935 a second campaign by De Vecchi and Mestrino completed the restoration and gave the castle the current appearance. The rooms were also provided with wood period furniture. The castle is today owned by the autonomous region Ulster Valley, which turned it into a museum. Despite its impressive defensive structure, the castle is situated at the top of a small knoll and not of a promontory or another inaccessible, and easily defensible place. In fact it was not built for military purposes, but to serve as a prestigious residence for the Challant family. 
The interior of the castle is divided into three floors, on the first floor it is possible to visit the weaponry, the kitchen, the woodshed and the storage tank to collect rainwater. On the second floor there were the rooms of the lords of the castle, the chapel with frescoes by Giacomo Jacquirio and his school and the court. Karlschen Castle is a large Gothic castle founded in 1348 by Charles IV, Holy Roman Emperor elect and King of Bohemia. The castle served as a place for safekeeping the imperial regalia as well as the Bohemian crown jewels, holy relics, and other royal treasures. It is located about 30 kilometers southwest of Prague in the Beron district of the central Bohemian region, above the market town of the same name. Karlschen is one of the most famous and most frequently visited castles in the Czech Republic. The castle was built upon a promontory from the south side of Netsihora Hill, divided from it by a narrow sag. The first gate, a square, two-story tower with a tall hip roof, stood above a moat at the western slope of the promontory. It was connected with the rampart traverse by means of a small portal. The traverse was protected by battlement, and divided by a covered bastion in the middle. The second gate led to the Burgrave House courtyard. Drawbridges closed both entrances. The Burgrave House formed the Karlschen settlement, it was fortified with a two meters wide rampart, the well tower stood slightly lower. In the Burgraviate's rampart a third gate was staved, the main entrance into the inner castle. 